All right, guys, I'm just going to create a little um, video that uh, has a little more detail than some of the other ones I've seen regarding um, how to build your own air over hydraulic pipe stretcher using some off the shelf parts and tools that you can buy online. So this is the first um, item of the three that you'll need to purchase. Um, it's not very specific, but there is a part number in the title, so hopefully you can find it. But it's very similar, if not the same, as um, the Lyle kit that everybody raves about and is exceptionally more expensive. Okay, so that's part one. Let me pull up part two here. Part two is this port of power hydraulic 1,000 p uh, 10,000 psi air foot pump um, rated at 10 tons um, with uh, and it comes with the hose. What's important about this? The hose is pretty long. I think a lot of people were complaining earlier that um, they only got three hoses and. If you buy the Harbor Freight foot pedal, it doesn't even come with oil in it. It also doesn't come with a hose, so don't do that. Um, you can buy this for less than the cost of the Harbor Freight one, and it comes more complete, and it's ready to go. You don't have to buy any oil. You just screw it in and uh, connect your air connector to it, and you're good to go. Okay, so, and the third part is the Harbor Freight, um, the Harbor Freight hydraulic punch driver kit now this is this is only necessary because you need this item right here you can use this but if you're buying the hydraulic um, air over hydraulic unit that I just showed you you won't need it and I mean you can still use these as well actually I, I take that back there is more than one part you'll need you'll need this one right here, this draw stud. So this draw stud and that um, ram will be the parts that you utilize from this. All right, I'll I'll take you down to my garage and show you um, show you the completed um, system that I made. So you can see how it all works, and I'll throw in a few tidbits of um, information that has been conveniently left out of other videos. All right, guys, gals, this is the uh, this is the hydraulic ram that comes in the Harbor Freight kit that I talked about just a little bit earlier. And what's interesting is on the Harbor Freight side, you don't see the silver cap on the end, um, and so I was a little concerned about that because some of the other videos I'd seen. I had noticed that on there, but in the Harbor Freight um, online catalog, you don't get an image that shows this. So I was worried that they'd maybe change the part. But when I went in and bought the kit, knowing I could return it, I was pleasantly surprised to find that it's the same that you you may see in other videos. Okay, so what's important about this kit? Let's see if I can do this one-handed. What's important to note? Pull this off. It'll probably buckle. Yeah, good. What's important to note is that the kit comes with uh, with a spacer. This is part of the Harbor Freight kit, and that spacer right there, you'll see there's a race on the inside that I've removed the bearing from. There was a bearing in there, and that bearing protrudes a little bit, but what, what's worse is the bottom of the nut. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to get it apart so you can see it better. Sorry about the camera, guys. I'm holding a cell phone in my hand and doing this one-handed. All right, so this is the nut that comes from the um, stretcher kit, the manual stretcher kit that you can buy online that I've, I showed you a link to earlier. This comes from that stretcher kit as well. 
and so does this so does this collapsed um, expander expander shell now this stuff that you see here this is the this is the spacer I was telling you about it comes with a bearing on the inside and the reason it has a bearing is because the bearing is designed to allow it to rotate the 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 workpiece or not the workpiece but the allow the um, the spreader to rotate if necessary when stretching a pipe and the reason there's any rotation is because you're using an impact driver or you know some other kind of breaker bar or whatever to turn that nut um, but or turn the bolt um, that is basically the draw bolt for the manual kit that's just the part that comes in the in the spreader kit now um, I took that out for one reason because if it's in there it actually protrude, protrudes it protrudes out a little bit from this side right here and if it protrudes out like that and it's also narrower so it's about the openings the size of that hole you'll see that this guy right here is going to be the first thing that it contacts when it's completely compressed but if you take that out look at how much more travel you get before these two connect you actually get a full stroke um, on the unit before um, before they connect now what will happen is if you leave that bearing in you'll get a limited amount of stroke you'll find yourself constantly adjusting just to get the full stretch on your piece of pipe and um, that's frustrating when you can use the draw um, threaded draw piece from the Harbor Freight kit right here screw it all the, it screws all the way in has the right threading goes plenty deep like about that deep into here and it's also got this convenient flat spot where you can tighten it down if you want to the next piece that goes on is this one it's a spacer and then the next piece that goes on is the I don't know what you call this spreading adapter and then you put your you put your draw nut back on the end and you get that sucker all the way in until the thread comes out the very bottom You'll see it's coming out the end here in just a second. The draw, key. the draw stud. There it is. Okay, see that? It'll go all the way too. It goes all the way to the end of the thread, and that's where you want it. I mean, I think. I guess it depends on the size of the tube you're, you're running. You can always back it out a little bit if you want to. There's still plenty of thread. Okay. And then you put your. Now, let me let me fix that and I'll put it on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm, I'm back. I got that thing back together. It's not hard, it just takes two hands. Okay, so you put this on. Let me see if I can hold this with my chin and do this. Put this on. Like so. Now it's all back together. Now, quite literally, for any of you, any of the you that are questioning, this pump system that I bought right here, like I said, came full of hydraulic fluid, came with the hose attached. I did have to. It came with that air fitting. I had to put the air fitting in. La di da. Uh, <clears throat> But I was worried, you know, when I bought all this, whether or not this threading would be compatible, whether or not the on, on on the tube itself, the pressure tube, and then also whether or not the threading on the draw stud would be would be compatible with um, with uh, the nut that goes on the end. Um, but it's all plug and play, guys. I mean, this this fitting right here 
it threads right in. I didn't have to buy anything extra. That threaded right in. I didn't have to buy anything extra. And when I realized that you take the, the bearing out of this to make this work, nobody else has talked about that. But you take the bearing out of this to make that work, um, you get the full expansion. This becomes a really handy tool. And I mean, it's plug and play. There's like no, there's no funny business going on here because these are all off the shelf parts. So they all work. Now, how long it'll last? I don't know. I, I just put this together like a week ago. But here's a piece of three inch stainless that I tested it on. And you can see that it expanded it. Okay. I don't know if it's all the way there, but it looks like it's close. I didn't really, you know, I don't have another piece of three inch to fit into it. So I didn't really have anything to test fit it with without cutting the section off of this. But I'm com confident that if it's not there, I can get it there. It, you know, and it's round. If you, if you rotate it while you're doing it, it keeps it nice and round. So I hope that helps guys. I, um, <clears throat> I was a little bugged by some of the other videos. They didn't, sh it seems like they're, they're, they just didn't show the stuff that I wanted to see. Uh, like, you know, the fitment, they didn't talk about the draw stud and the threads and whether or not the nut and all that, and whether or not the threading on this works. And, um, and, uh, and so I was just, you know, a little blind when I bought the three components, but you know, as soon as I opened up the boxes and saw that all the threading was good and everything was going to fit together naturally, it was just a matter of figuring out how to get the full stroke on this guy. And that was easy to do. Um, once I realized that the bearing was what was in the way and that this thing was actually concave, just like I need it to be to fit that nut down into the center of it as it pulls it in. Otherwise, you get some expansion, but you don't get enough to do what you need to do. All right, guys. Hope that's helpful. I uh, will get this uploaded, and um, hopefully some of you guys will, will benefit from it. Take care.